What is good? Diamond Nine is Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, what we're going to be getting into today, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend and tell a friend. Tell the angel mama to tell the uncle Joe he's still a mother freaking hoe. Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get so it. Some people were assuming that Dwayne and Neek may be having some relationship issues after she posted a photo entitled it, he said, I'm toxic. I heard exotic. I don't know. People with these fucking captions are always thinking that somebody done broke up or is trouble in paradise, nigga. People can't even post a fucking caption to their damn picture, bruh. <laughs> like, damn. I can understand sometimes, yeah, it'd be correlated to whatever they going, uh, whatever they got going on. But, bruh, not every caption, not every tweet is about some shit that they personally going through right now, bruh. Like, sometimes it's worse to a song. Sometimes it's just like, hey, a random fucking thought, you know? Like, come on. <laughs> Someone in the comment section left a comment that stated, y'all broke up. <sighs> Neek responded with, no, that's forever, my man, my man, my man. Okay, let's Nick. move on to this next topic. Okay. Armand <clears throat> and Regine. Now, yesterday, I reported that one of Regine's friends yeah. did a truth or drink. Her messy ass. And she answered some questions about Armand and Regine's relationship. Right, right. I think Armand is the one for Regine. Oh. Oh, shit. You ain't say this on the last video. She said, uh, I'm going to drink to this. Yeah, honestly, uh, I don't know, man. I just wouldn't speak on my friend's shit. You know, I just wouldn't speak on my friend's shit. I probably wouldn't even have any questions about them on my shit, bro. It's just messy. Unless they give me consent to, then okay. But it's just like, dude, come on, man. I know you want some views. I know you want people to be tapped in and tuned in, but not at the expense of my real friends, you know? Like, we ain't doing that. <clears throat> we not doing that, man. And you got people assuming all types of shit, you know? She posted multiple questions about Armand and Regine. Mm -hmm. Well, Regine went on to... I thought that was the only one. Instagram, and she posted, some people believe I'm single. Others believe I'm taken in the midst of confusion. I uh, urge y'all to believe in Jesus. I'm telling you, man. Believe in Jesus. Believe in the universe. Believe in Mother Nature. Believe in whatever the fuck you want to believe in. Believe in yourself, goddammit. But shit, get out her business is what she's saying, y'all. Then Armand goes on to Twitter and he states, if these ninjas worried about they self, it wouldn't be room for you to hate on the next man, yeah, chump. that's a fact. Also states... Integrity lasts longer than viral moments. Stay real, stay focused. That's a fact, Armand. That's a fact, man. Like you said, and like I always say, man, like it's cool to tap into the drama, get the tea. I like to sip the tea too. We all do, all right? It's a guilty pleasure. But at the end of the day, if the tea becomes your whole fucking meal of life, that's when you go wrong. That's when you get poisoned. Because then you're taking away attention from your own fucking, you know, the richness of your own life, the abundance of your own life, the fruits of your own life, right? <clears throat> so you got to be careful. Like I said, just be careful. Limit the time that you tune into this type of shit. Limit the time that you care about somebody else's life, bro, and live yours. Yes. Then he <clears throat> also liked a tweet that stated, if you have relationship issues, I'll be careful sharing with uh -oh. miserable single friends. Uh -oh. Everyone not happy for you. Damn. So they were not too happy. Shots fired. Bang, bang. With Jade speaking on their relationship. That's what I'm saying, man. At the end of the day, bro, like if I know that's my nigga, right? Why am I going to speak on their situation when I know it's a lot of people who are going to try to be messy about their situation, right? I'm not going to come on video, talk about my niggas for clout and views, right? And possibly hurt the relationship that I have with them. That shit doesn't make any sense at all, bro. Like, some of these niggas have no integrity. Like Armand said, man, giving up your integrity for dollars just does not correlate in my mind at all, right? Like, I would never... I would never speak on my friend's situation, especially with all the drama surrounding them, all the hate that they were getting and have been getting. I'm going to stay as far away from them topics as possible. And if I do answer a question, it's going to be like, it's none of y'all motherfucking business and what? Right? <laughs> and what? If I'm going to answer a question, because it'll be a question, not multiple questions about their situation. Right? 
I'm going to answer a question because I have control over what questions I'm going to ask myself in this hot seat, right? So if I do want to throw in one, I'm going to throw it in, but it's going to be clickbait because I'm going to tell your ass, fuck (laughs) y'all, fuck your opinion, and I ain't saying shit. They're my niggas, right? And mind your motherfucking business. (laughs) That's what I'm going to say. But, you know, everybody ain't real, bro. Shit. It is what it but is. But I'll keep you guys updated on that. Now, I do want to speak on this whole CJ So Cool situation. Now, people were stating that CJ dyed his hair blonde to be like Royalty's boyfriend. Yo. So, I'm guessing people can't just <laughs> like the same hairstyle Right, anymore. right, right. But let's move on to this next topic. People be so childish, man. With Deera and this Quee and Ken situation. Deera been looking mighty different lately, bro. Like, what's going on, fam? Now, if you guys remember... Remember, people were coming down hard on Quee and Ken for moving into Deer's townhome community. They- like, who gives a fuck about that? Once again, why is this even a fucking topic, bro? They just posted a video yesterday that they are <clears throat> going to be moving. I hope y'all didn't get bullied into moving, bro. So it seems like they're <clears throat> fed up with people stating... Fuck them people, bro. That they are... Do y'all shit. Or do DK4L. I don't know. Are stalking <laughs> Deer. But anyways, you guys let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments. I think the whole topic is stupid as fuck. Find something else to do with your life and create some drama behind somebody copying somebody. Like, come on, bro. Why is this even a topic? I said it before and I'm going to say it again. Comment section below. Now let's move on to this next topic with Chris Sells. Now he recently posted on Instagram, told my son... If, <laughs> if he, he beat me, me I'll leave Clarence No. Nah. Then he hashed... I had seen, uh, let's, I mean... On his story post, too, he had put, uh, look who followed me, and it was Leslie. Just jokes. Now, then he goes on to Instagram and posts, my, my bad, bad about, about that last post. Oh, that's what that was about. Me, I'll leave Clarence alone. <laughs> then he hashtags, just jokes. Now, then he goes on to Instagram and posts, my bad about that. Now, I seen this. I didn't know what he was talking about. Last post. Somebody hacked <laughs> me. Now, before he removed that video, a lot of people in the comments were saying that he shouldn't get CJ involved in their drama. <laughs> but anyways, you guys let me know what you guys think about this and everything <laughs> else in this video. Yeah, I agree. You shouldn't put the kid in the drama, but at the end of the day, too, the CJ go on Chris's page to even find out what he posted on there, you know, or what he said in the caption. I want to know your opinions on everything down in the comment section below. Showers, bro. Don't get I, took, I took a shower. You took a shower before we went to go hoop. You still need to go take a shower. Stanky booty what are you ass. Talking about? Why are you just sweating outside? All right, then. Tell me some. you took a shower. You're you disgusting. He <laughs> said you exposed me. I'm going to expose you. Oh. Yeah, okay. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't just take a shower. You didn't take a shower today or yesterday. <laughs> you tripping. Oh, God, I took a shower. He said today or yesterday. Your musty ass still smells stinky after you get out the shower because you don't even wash your balls right. You get in that hole and let the water run down your back and then get out. Fuck what you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> Ugly little boy. Stupid ass. <laughs> musty, musty booty. Probably boo boo selling yo. And your butt crack. Fuck you talking about? What are these niggas talking about, man? Hell, my boy. I started flying me your little skinny ass. You need to start <coughs> skinny. Uh-huh. You need to start going to the gym. I'd rather have some meat on my body than that. Why are you talking like that with your son playing or not? Because I can, the fuck? Why would? You don't like why are you talking like that with your son playing or not? Because I can, the fuck. If you don't like it, get the fuck out of here. Don't tell me how to talk to my son. What they tripping on? <clears throat> worry about your dad, you and your daddy uh-huh. relationship. Don't worry about how I talk to my son. I'm going to talk to my son the way I want to talk to him. I ain't see nothing wrong. Y'all let me know. Did y'all see something wrong with how he, you know, was joking around with Chris? I don't see nothing wrong with that. No. They both joke together. That's their relationship. That's the way we communicate. That's the way we right. communicate. That's our bond. That's our bond. Don't worry about with somebody else. How somebody else talk to their kid. The fuck you got other. It's other shit to be worried about in this world. <clears throat> I'm telling you. Be worried about how I talk to my son. I'm telling you. Niggas weird as. The fuck. <laughs> When the when you post some vlogs, I'm gonna post some vlogs. 
good. I had seen um. I had seen a little bit of this live and they was making pizza rolls, guys. When was the last time y'all had pizza rolls? Because if y'all had pizza rolls in the past couple of years, them shits is not the same, bro. The cheese used to bust out the seams, y'all. Now, the cheese doesn't even melt in the pizza roll. If y'all have had a bag of pizza rolls, like lately, you will see that they have made the cheese into imitation cheese, bro. That's not even real cheese anymore. So, I stopped buying pizza rolls. Pizza rolls used to bust, nigga. And I'm talking about bust out the seams with cheese right if you cut a pizza roll open you will see little blocks of cheese that have not even been melted bro it doesn't matter how long you cook them hoes that's fucking disgusting i wonder if hot pockets did the same shit but i think bagel bites did the same thing and it hurt my soul it hurt my heart bro because i used to love pizza rolls but now the cheese don't even fucking melt what's the point I'm trying to be now, cheap and shit girl, i ain't gonna talk to my girl like that I need a girl to ride, ride, ride. I need a girl to be my wife. Mm, my oh my. I need a girl oh, in my life. Why, why, why? I need a girl to be my wife. Why you <coughs> bro? Yeah, ain't no cheese in them bitches, bro. The straight kangaroo meat. <laughs> bro, okay, that ain't even that serious. Talking about real well, shit, bro. Listen to y'all. I don't care if I double dip. You just uh -huh. off of me earlier. Right, what? You might not double dip for Y'all got the same saliva talking about you double dip. Every day. I definitely like ranch with my pizza roll. Ranch hot sauce with my pizza roll. You know what's crazy, y'all? I used to eat pizza. Like, when I was um, growing up in school, I don't know if y'all remember those square pizzas or, like, rectangle pizzas. You go through the lunch line and you get one of them pizzas, bro. Oh, I used to love pizza, though. Sometimes I would use ranch. I know y'all gonna kill me for this. But I used to dip my pizza in ketchup sometimes, y'all. And that shit used to be good as hell. I ain't gonna lie. The shit that you eat as a kid is crazy. I remember when we had, like, baked potatoes. Sometimes we would have baked potatoes with our meals and shit, right? I used to put the shit in my baked potato, y'all. And I used to, like, eat the baked potato whole. Like, I don't know what type of savage I was, bro. But I would eat the baked potato without a fork. Like, close the bitch up, put my shit in, close it up, and eat it like a fucking sub sandwich. <laughs> I was fat, bro. Every day I pray for your downfall. Bro, what? I pray you be broke and homeless. What? <laughs> you heard what somebody said to me? They praying on my downfall because I'm popular. What you got to say about that? Hi. <laughs> I'm bothered. He's giving I'm bothered, okay. Man, I wish the pizza rolls hit the same, man. They just don't hit the same. Go buy you a bag of pizza rolls, y'all, and I want y'all to test this theory. Go heat them bitches up for however long you want to. You can air fry them, you can fry them, put them in the oven, put them hoes in the microwave for 60,000 seconds. I'm telling y'all, it will not melt the cheese. Cut that bitch open and tell me what you see. DM me after you do this. And let me know, damn, Diamond, I bought this $3 bag of pizza rolls. Matter of fact, they probably $10 now. You know how inflation is. I bought this $10 bag of pizza rolls. And I'm going to just give these hoes away to, like, my cousin or something. Because I did what you said. I cut the bitches open. And there was still blocks of cheese in my shit. You know, like, there's no cheese melting in this hoe. Y'all going to see. Let me know. Let me know if I'm tripping. I know I ain't tripping. I don't care what, what you get. The cheese one, pepperoni, hamburger. They all that way, bro. Okay. That shit crazy. Ain't shit we can do about it. That's a sad story, bro. I used to love pizza rolls. That was like a, a, a monumental part of my childhood. Just took it from me, bro. Robbed me. Fuck it, robbed me, nigga. Well, right, CJ, how you feel? <clears throat> Don't ask too many questions, you know that? You feel hungry, shit. Ask a lot of questions. He just he was just hooping. Oh, happy Memorial Day to y'all too, man. Shout out to everybody with the glitches on the grill. Let me know what y'all like to eat on Memorial Day. Barbecue, I like the hot links. Earl Campbell's hot links. The cheddar ones, the regular <clears throat> the cheddar ones, the regular Charles ones, Barry. the hot ones, mm -hmm. the red ones. I'm not a hot dog ass nigga. I'm a hot link ass nigga. I just want you to sit in the corner and cry. What? 
I can't wait for you to get evicted. What? What is wrong with these folks? They mad they got evicted. Anyway, guys, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Happy mother freaking Memorial Day, ma'am. My throat been a little messed up, you know what I'm saying? Sinus is all, you know? But hey, shit, I'm blessed to be alive. I'm blessed to be eating this bacon right now. I'm finna drink my protein shake and all of that. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Memorial Day, you know? Shout out to all the fallen soldiers, you know? Rest in peace, live in peace, because we don't die. You know, we just transcend. But yeah, anybody who has served, shout out to y'all too. Salute to y'all and thank y'all for y'all service. And other than that, guys, I love y'all so freaking much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell that ain't your mama to tell your uncle Joey still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next mother freaking video. What I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.